नमस्कार नमस्कार कैथरीन नमस्कार I have heard you speak about male sexuality and the ways in which men can withhold in order to express their energy as love. And I was wondering whether this is also the case for women and what your advice is for how women can use their sexual energy in the best possible way. For my own context, personally, I'm in a committed long-term relationship and me and my partner are trying to start a family. and i also regularly feel quite often in my daily life stress and anxiety thank you all this anxiety it's basically a it's a face of the ego you have to simplify everything down you know one can blame anxiety on this and that and stress and business and work and um childhood and one can psychologize these things add nauseam into into uh, taking over the entire system and this is not a spiritual approach a spiritual seeker a spiritual finder does not give in to those things if you have anxiety you say no this is not okay i pull myself together now what am i anxious about i'm not that important in the whole scheme of things so you know drink a glass of water and slap yourself too and and look in the mirror and say now we're getting moving we're going to get out of this thing because anxiety is a is a face of fear and fear is ego itself it's pure ego and that ego which is fear which is in a different form anxiety is exactly that which is stopping you from um from further knowing self because the self the truth the source that is love and love is love is that which uh, exists when there is no fear and that makes sense experientially to almost everyone because when you are deep in this experience of love whatever kind of love it may be fear is absent so these are like two uh, combatants on that field you know two antagonists and and the the point is that and this is also connected with uh, your question about the sexual energy because as a female that energy when you pull it up when you it's it's the same process as for men it's the same thing in a female body as in a male body the only difference is that there is more matter involved in one and less in the other but the energetics of it are the same so you are actually pulling up you feel that sexual energy arising in the lowermost chakras the lowermost area of the torso and you pull it up from there from down below you know in the genital area a little above and you pull that up you you energetically raise it raise it you will it to raise higher and higher and higher and then it is expressed as love as a female the way it is expressed is different it's expressed as nurturing it's expressed as caring it's expressed more in a unity consciousness state with the family with the partner with the children with the larger family with society with you know nation with earth with world so these are the this is the way it progresses it boils down to the more anxiety the less love so if you as a female allow yourself to be in that state of anxiety you won't be able to pull up the energy and even if you don't pull it up you won't any way be able to give the kind of love that you would if you weren't in that anxious state because when you're in an anxious state you're actually a servant of the ego it's like you know the ego is saying be anxious be afraid and you're like yes yes you're a willing slave of of the ego and instead if you were if you were to say no i'm not going to listen to those anxious thoughts i'm not going to listen to them because they emerge in the ahankar in the ego i instead i'm going to try to circumvent all that sound and try to move into signal you know the noise will go on 
but I'm looking for signal. And that is that impulse of the truth within you. And when you tune into that, through this discerning practice, you slowly start to feel yourself. That's what self-realization is. And when you feel yourself, it's, it's, it's feeling love, you know? That's what the Truth is about. That's what the Antar Atman, the Antar Guru is about. It is love. It is the impulse, the universal binary impulse, impulsing your system so that it acts not from the ego which causes the suffering, but from the Truth which brings joy to the system. So that's how it's all interconnected, because if you're in joy, you also have the power to pull up that energy even further. So on a physical, material level, you're also aiding that whole process of surrender and, and the ability to nurture, the ability to, you know, to take care of the other. Because if you don't feel yourself, how are you supposed to feel the other? And if you're giving in to anxiety, you can't feel yourself, so you can't feel the other. So you can't nurture the other. You know, women who give in a lot to anxiety, who are troubled by that a lot, they're not able to tune into their children, forget about the partner. They're, they're in the semi-anxious state, so they're not able to tune in. It is a decision which is in your hands. Anxiety is not something that is, you know... It's not a medical condition. It is a condition where the ego has overtaken the system. And now it needs to be put in its place, firmly. That this is not what I want to function with and respond to and act with, and I don't want that in my life. I just want to go with the Truth of my system as much as is possible. And each time I go with the ego, I refuse it and then bounce back into the Truth state. So that's how the whole thing is connected. And yes, you can pull up that energy as a female, as well as a male, both. It's a very similar process. Yes. Namaskar.